Admiral James Kilby has stepped into his new role as the 43rd Vice Chief of Naval Operations. U.S. Marine Corps Major General Lorna Maylock has been appointed commander of the Cyber National Mission Force, succeeding U.S. Army Major General William Hartman. Congressional leaders made a key step to preventing a government shutdown by reaching a bipartisan top-line appropriations agreement on Sunday. The Department of Energy has launched a potential $70 million competitive funding opportunity for projects that could help boost energy resilience and combat risks to energy infrastructure in the United States. The Department of Homeland Security's Science and Technology Directorate is soliciting technology proposals designed to generate synthetic data that replicates authentic data patterns while maintaining the privacy and security of information. Sarah Brothers, a remote sensing expert, has assumed the role of Director of the Commercial Remote Sensing Regulatory Affairs Division at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Office of Space Commerce. The U.S. Space Force has launched a challenge intended to help the service branch modernize information systems at its current and future spaceports. Shannon Perry, a 22-year FBI veteran, has been named Assistant Director of the Information Management Division responsible for overseeing agency-wide efforts to maintain the Bureau's information management systems. Join Potomac Officers Club's The CX Imperative Forum on January 25, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The AF Works Weapons Program Executive Office held in September the first phase of a challenge that seeks to develop future low-cost variants of cruise missiles. The Department of Defense, NASA and the General Services Administration have begun soliciting comments on a proposed information collection requirement regarding modifications to Part 36 of the Federal Acquisition Regulation concerning construction contract requirements.